So let's listen to Governor Christie, who's completely unchallenged in this. Uh, I mean, completely. I mean, honestly, Steve Croft, dude mailing the shit in. Or is producer mailing the shit in? Here's, uh, here's clip number one. We have a benefit problem. It's not an income problem from the state. It's a benefit problem. And so we got to change those benefits. And what's the reaction been to that? <laughs> it depends on where you sit. I mean, I think the general public thinks, I can't believe anybody gets a pension anymore. I've got a 401k. It got killed in the stock market. I don't know what I'm going to do for my retirement. I can't believe people get a pension anymore. So I think amongst the, the broad general public, they've said, amen. Well, I don't think that's actually true. I mean, uh, but the, listen to the rationale here. First of all, they do have a revenue problem. And a lot of that revenue is missing from the federal government. And it's going to be missing a lot more from the federal government. They're not going to be able to subsidize loans. Now, this is the same douchebag who is getting federal money to build a tunnel from New Jersey to New York that was going to create something like 6,000 jobs. Yeah, 6,000. And then God knows what kind of economic activity and property values would go up if you could commute into New York even easier. I mean, go check out what the average commute time is into New York City because of traffic, because uh, trains backed up. It adds 20, 30 minutes. Easy. Easy. And the idea that you could eliminate 30 minutes in your commute. Uh, if I could get into New York City, if I could get to this office, OK. Which is blocks from Penn Station. If I could get to this office as quick as I could from, let's say, 110th Street on the Upper West Side. I'd be living in New Jersey right now. I don't know if I could ever move to New Jersey, but that's a, that's a different issue. So this guy rejecting federal funds for that because he wants to make a point. I don't have the money. Well, you could get loans. But then, listen, we need to create jobs in this, in this state. Well, yes, this project would create jobs. Yeah, but what happens to those jobs after this is done? Well, uh, those 6,000 people are going to be spending money. They're going to create more jobs. There's a multiplier effect, particularly when you give people like that jobs, because they spend that money. And here he is talking about we have a benefit problem, not a revenue problem. But there's been series of series of tax cuts. The Bush tax cuts blowing a hole in our federal budget cutting back on money sent to the states. Now, who brought that message in this 60 Minutes piece? No one. Ooh. That's right. No one. Zero. And then Christie goes on to say, like, look, we have done a very good job in demonizing federal workers and, and state workers and city workers. To the point where by making sure that we've destroyed private unions, conservatives, he's a movement conservative. This is one of the guys who was a hack, who so was doing political bidding for Karl Rove as a U.S. attorney. And then, of course, also spending money at the Ritz as a U.S. attorney. One of the most lavish lifestyles of one of the federal U.S. attorneys. Part of this to uh, destroy the private union sector, private unions in the, I mean, unions in the private sector, destroy people's pensions, and to set up with the notion of like, yeah, we've managed to create enough anger amongst the public against people who have pensions. So it's class warfare when you have a problem with wealthy people who get tax cuts. It's class warfare when you have a problem with someone who has $10 million in assets having to pay more than 35% on every dollar after that to give to their uh, silver spoon children. It's class warfare when the government still functions to provide support and benefits for the rich and for the corporations. And you complain about that. That's class warfare. But when you look 
at a member of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal uh, Employees, asks me, and you look at what their pension is, the fact that they get a pension, and you resent it. That's not class warfare. That's being an American. The average pension of an AFSCME union member is $19,000 a year. 80% of that is contributed by the employee. And so when you demonize them, that's not class warfare. Government workers from municipal, state, or federal, doesn't matter who they are, they get paid commensurate with their uh, education level as in the private sector. This is bullshit. 